What's up guys? You're watching TechZ India and this is our in-depth review of the Samsung Galaxy S3. This is the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the successor of the highly successful Galaxy S2. This is the flagship Android device from Samsung and this was launched in May 2012 in London, UK and has been available throughout the world since then. It comes as an unlocked version in India and is available in the US with carriers. The S3 that we have here is a pebble blue version. However, we have a marble, black, marble white, amber brown, garnet red, sapphire black, Titanium grey has the other color choices. The S3 weighs in at 133 grams. The device is rather thin at its length measuring 13.6 centimeters and its width at about 7 centimeters and incredibly thin at just 8.6 millimeters. The S3 comes with Corning Gorilla Glass 2 coating on it and it protects the screen from the day-to-day -day scratches. On the front of the device, we have a physical home button. Towards left hand side, we have the capacitive menu button. And to the right hand side, we have the capacitive back button. We have a front facing camera of 2 megapixels and the speaker grill. The proximity and light sensors in between the speaker grill and the camera. And we have an LED indicator. The left of the device is kept simple with the volume rockers and the top we have the noise cancellation mic and 3.5 millimeter audio jack. To the right of the device we have the power button. At the, at the bottom of the device we have the micro USB slot for charging and data transfer and the primary mic of the device. The back comes with an 8 megapixel camera that is a back illuminated sensor with an LED flash on the left and the speaker grill to the right. Under the hood we have a massive 2100 mAh lithium ion battery and a micro SD card slot and a micro SIM card slot. Let's put the battery cover onto the device. This beast packs a Samsung Exynos quad-core processor with a 1GB of RAM. This version which we are holding here is a 16GB version whereas a 32GB version is available in the market for a slightly higher price. This can be expanded through the memory card slot up to 64GB and that is an advantage. Note that the review is made for the international version, however, the US version comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor packing LTE on board and that has 2GB of RAM. International version comes with charger. Which sums up as a USB cable and a surprisingly good earphones. The S3 seems to be a big device due to its 4.8 inch screen but the device actually fits very comfortable in the pocket. Let us boot the device and see how fast the device boots. There you go, the device is booted up and that is the home screen. The S3 here is running Nature UI as Samsung likes it to be called. The transition effects between the screen is, is very good. You can see even though this is not Jelly Bean, the transition between one screen to another is very smooth. This could be powered actually by the quad-core processor but still um, on the same quad-core processor devices such as One X, I, I, I don't feel the transition effect to be this smooth. Samsung has 
as usual given the quick settings in the notifications tray and you have got this toggle for brightness which is very useful because I, I tend to put it in auto mode but still if you want it to be manually changed often you can do it here with this toggle and we have got the usual Wi-Fi GPS sound screen rotation, power saving, notification, mobile data, Bluetooth, driving mode and sync as the quick settings here. Now let me jump into the settings. In the settings we have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage and more settings. I'll come to more settings uh, a bit later. In device we have sound, display, wallpaper and LED indicator. LED indicator is one of the main features of Samsung Galaxy S3 and I love this LED indicator. This shows if you have any missed calls, if you have low battery, if you have missed any event, if you have any email that is unread, you're gonna get it notice. The S3 wants you to notice it with the LED indicator. And then you have the motion control settings, which is very, very useful. Direct call is a feature in motion, motion control where if you are in a contact in any of the contact screen, just hold it up to your ear and it makes a phone call and this is very, very useful. There are other motion control settings such as smart alert, double tap to top, tilt to zoom, pan to move icon. Shake to update, turn over, mute, pause. I don't, I don't think these, these are going to be used in daily, day-to-day uh, -day usage. But, but I feel, I feel uh, the direct call feature is the most usable and uh, a good feature that Samsung has put. Since, since the Android market, the Android smartphone world is saturated with similar kind of hardware. I mean, there are devices with quad-core, devices with um, same processors, and it, it all comes to the OEM to um, make their devices stand out with the software and we have to give full marks to Samsung for customizing the software and putting such great options, direct call and such. Even though you, you tend to not use it, you still have the option of. This is one awesome feature I would say Samsung has put here, palm swipe to capture. Let me do that right now. Oops. Uh, really sorry for that uh, screenshot capture because I'm recording and uh, taking a screenshot at the same time. Okay, now see the, the, the screenshot that is captured is shown up here in the notifications tray. Another beautiful thing Samsung has done with touch with our nature UI is I would like to show that to you okay, screen lock face the screen lock option has a new feature in it. You can actually use your face to unlock the phone and I think that's a very good feature that Samsung has put to differentiate itself from the other OEMs in the market. Now let me go to another important feature of a smartphone, the camera. The camera launches very quickly on this beast. The camera in the Samsung Galaxy S3 has a lot of settings you can actually compare it with a point and shoot because you, you got so much settings to work out with on the left hand corner you have the settings I'm sorry and the settings has great options here you can you can literally play around with the camera the software on this phone is very good as far as camera is concerned the cam quality of this phone is very good too. Even though this might not replace your point and shoot, it is definitely a step towards it. You've got the toggle between front facing camera and the rear camera here. And you have the video recorder um, toggle here. And this is one good feature I'm going to show you. I'm going to put a 
put something here to show what the recorder can actually do. Just I'm going to turn off anti-shake. Now, imagine if you're recording a video and you would love to take a, um, a capture, you would love to capture that moment at the same time. You can do that now. What S3 is right now doing is it is capturing the image and recording at the same time. Now let me stop this video and show the video that we have recorded. You can see that this is the video that is recorded however you can see the captured um, images also this is a very good feature where where you you might probably want to take images at the same time as you're recording and this is quite helpful but the only downside of this uh, thing is that you have to turn off anti-shake or else um, you wouldn't get this feature activated okay I'm going to show you something which I really don't like in this phone. Now this is one of the most um, irritating feature I would say on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Probably this is a small bug but still it's there. If you go into settings and if you want to see how much um, battery is being used and what, what is using the battery, you would find this thing which is actually according to me very wrong and probably a bug cell standby showing 18 person you just can't have cell standby at 18 person you can you can accept that the screen is using 69 person of the battery because it's it's in high brightness and you've got all uh, games that I've played in the background everything running so screen has been the main reason for the battery to drain but when the cell is in standby mode you can't expect it to drain and probably the battery might not be draining in the background but still a bug shows it to be draining and I don't like this feature I just hope Samsung will remove this and they fix this issue with their jelly bean update that is going to be coming soon Okay, now let me show you the application tray. I have quite a few applications installed here, like the Chrome. Uh, there are quite a few games that I have installed on my phone and one of them, um, which is uh, heavily uh, impressive, is Riptide GP. This actually shows off how good Samsung Galaxy S3 can handle graphics. Even though this is an optimized game for NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor, still, S3 manages it. Oops, there is an ad. Let me show you how good this game looks on this beautiful Super AMOLED screen. I may not be playing well because I'm sitting in a quite awkward position. Still, I would show you how good the gaming experience can be on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Even though you, you might not get the water splashing effect that you get on the HTC One X, um, still, I, I say this, this game looks beautiful on the S3. I might not be doing justice to the game, but it's obviously because we are recording and playing at the same time. Now let me pause this game. There you could see the S3 handles um, the games very well. Now there is another feature that I would have to share with you guys. Um, I have installed a keyboard that is called AI type keyboard that, that is available for free as well as a paid version is available in the Android market. The keyboard is very good, the AI type keyboard. I have put the Windows Phone uh, theme on it and I'm, I'm in just love with this keyboard. There you can see it corrects um, very well. Now I'm going to be showing you the gallery on Samsung Galaxy S3 and 
the LV launches very quickly and it's, it's all in folders and you can see here the images that I have taken with my S3 and I'm going to be showing you some quick, quick pics. Um, this, I have, I'm showing this pic because this was taken while I was in the car and I was moving and just look at the clarity of the image. The S3 has a good camera and that is shown off beautifully in this AMOLED screen. I'm going to be showing you the important video player because now I'm going to be showing you the video player of uh, the Galaxy S3 which makes use of this beautiful 4.8 inch AMOLED display and I have to admit you would fall eventually in love with this video player and because this is, that is mostly contributed by the um, AMOLED screen here. Just, just look at the movie, you feel as if you're watching an LED TV, it's such good. It's an awesome display. And there you can see, um, moving into parts of the movie is quite easily done here on the S3 because of the quad-core processor that is running. There you can see, S3 manages to play 720p videos and 1080p videos quite smoothly and it, it has no issues in running them. Now let me go back and show you the music player that comes with the S3. Music player is quite straight here and it's it's not as attractive or as good as you would find on the iPhone or a Windows phone Zoom but still it has all the goodies. You've got the playlist, artist, music square, folders and when you turn it into the landscape mode it just turns you, you don't get the graphics or the beautiful transition that you get on the um, iPhone and music player is quite good the speaker on the Samsung Galaxy S3 is quite loud and it it produces incredibly good sounds As you can see, the sound comes out from the behind, but still, it's, it's quite clear and quite good. The speaker is good. Now let me go to the null playing. So, that's, that's the music player of the Samsung Galaxy S3. The call quality on the Samsung Galaxy S3 is very good. Um, that is due to this speaker grill that produces clear um, tones and you, you have no problem in hearing to what the uh, person on the other end speaks. This is a very good speaker for um, the S3 and I have no problems uh, with the call quality because um, I'm using the um, best network probably in India and that is Airtel and I have tested uh, the S3 with other networks such as Docomo and uh, Vodafone and I have to admit uh, even though Docomo signals aren't that good um, it still manages to clear um, bring up good sounds when you're on a call you don't get any distortion but here and there you might lose calls you might um, get drop calls on the Docomo but uh, it has not been an issue for Vodafone and Airtel and Airtel has the best um, um, signal or the um, experience when uh, using the S3 with Airtel is very good now I'm going to be showing you um, internet capabilities and how the browser works on the S3 and I have uh, here Chrome installed and I'm going to be showing you I'm going to be loading up GSM Marina as you can see there the website is having 
lots of content and still S3 manages it manages to load um, the website fully and the transition FX you can see here pinch to zoom is quite smooth and once the website is fully loaded you won't be facing any problem um, scrolling in the website or as such now let me actually show another website so that you can get a clear idea as to how um, good this browser is I'm, I'm loading up in gadget.com oops it loads the mobile version I'm gonna be loading the desktop version okay there you go the website is fully loaded and there is no problem when when you're browsing internet on the S3 now another important feature of um, the smartphone I have to say um, not particularly S3 of any smartphone would be battery and that has been outstanding in this S, uh, in this device it has a very big uh, battery of 2100 milliampere as I have told you earlier in the video and uh, S3 manages uh, to um, run through a full day um, from 100% charge to I, I end up actually having 20 or 30 percent of the charge still remaining by end of day and this is not by putting the cell phone in standby but with heavy usage of internet and I most of the times keep my Wi-Fi signals on and it's, it's the device is always connected to Wi-Fi I keep on playing games such as Riptide, FL Commando which are very graphically intense and I have a few calls here and there messaging, texting, internet and after such heavy usage and I have to mention even camera I take a fair good amount of uh, pics uh, every day so uh, I, I keep my battery busy and still I am getting a good um, backup of one day and I have to say I'm very much impressed with the battery backup on Samsung Galaxy S3 there is one good feature in the Samsung Galaxy S3 that that is very useful um, if you go to the phone and if you have if you go to the settings menu I'm gonna show you one very good feature in sound equalizer this has options of optimizing how you want your phone to react when you're on a call you if you want it uh, to produce soft sound you can enable that option here if you want a clear sound you can do that here and if you want to optimize it to your left ear or the right ear you can do that also I feel s3 is probably um, one of the best devices uh, in the Android uh, market you, you you might be wanting an HTC One X if you are not uh, willing to purchase a phone with AMOLED displays and if you prefer LCDs I would I, I would actually have to admit that HTC One X has a better screen than um, the S3 it produces colors accurately than what S3 produces and um, if, if you want an iOS product or an Apple product um, you would be better choosing iPhone 4s or iPhone 5 that is available uh, from November 2nd in India and if you if you want to be purchasing a Windows phone you've got tons of choices now with the Nokia Lumia 920 coming soon and HTC 8x and 8s and not to forget the Samsung's own 80s which I feel looks like um, S3 version of Windows Phone but still I feel actually 8 of us looks better than S3 so this was our in-depth review of the Samsung Galaxy S3 Samsung's flagship device please leave your comments in the comment section below and if you like this video please give a thumbs up and stay subscribed thanks for watching Tech Z India